Hi, this is Tom and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to create this simple chair family in Revit. So we are starting in an empty project and to create a new family we have to go to file new family and I will be using English template so I go to English and I'm going to search for metric furniture template that's used for chairs. I click open and this opens up a few tabs with a new empty family. Uh, it's a good practice to save the family from the start. So I'm going to click save. I'm going to save it to my desktop and my tutorial work in progress folder. I'm going to name it chair. So in this new furniture family, we've got only two reference planes, which this will be the center point of placing the chair when we create it. So we will start with creating some of our own reference planes to have the basic dimensions of the chair. So we go to create, create reference plane. And it's quite useful to have not too many weak or strong reference planes in your families. So I will choose that this will be not a reference. And I create a reference plane. Okay. Now I will name this reference plane just so that we know the front. Because it will be the front of the chair. And I'm going to dimension it so that it's 400 millimeters from this will be the back of the chair okay now i can create two more reference planes one two and i will name this one left and i will name this one right and this will be 210 millimeters from the center and this will be also 210 from the center okay so these are this is my these are my reference planes in the plan view now I'm gonna go to the front view this is my front view and I will create a reference plane here and this will be the seat height. And another one, which will be the support height. And this will be 420 from the floor, 420 millimeters. And this one will be 500 millimeters from the seat height. Okay, so we've got our reference planes prepared. And now I'm going to go to the reference level again and we will start creating our chair. The first thing that we will create is the seat. So we will use the extrusion tool. And I will draw four lines along our reference planes. And then I will click finish edit mode. Now I'm going to look at what I have created in a 3D view. And in the 3D view, I prefer to use the shaded mode so I can see what I have created. And you can see that we have created our seat, but it looks kind of strange. When we look at it from the front, we can see that it's placed on the reference level. So when we click at it, we can drag it to our seat height reference plane. And then we can drag the bottom also up. We can either wing the, the depth of the seat or we can use the, we can use numbers here. So I can set it to 380 millimeters above the ground. Okay, so now our seat is ready. Let's go to the reference uh, reference level again. 
the, to the floor plan and we will create the legs of the chair so again i will, will create the extrusion this time i will be using rectangle and i can draw a rectangle like this now i can make the size of the legs 40 by 40 okay so i've got one leg in the in the floor plan and now i can choose these and use pick axis to create the mirror and i can mirror it along these axis now i've got this one now I can choose this again and mirror it. I cannot choose pick axis because there is no axis here. So I cancel that and I choose these lines again and I mirror it and I choose draw axis and I draw and I use the snap points, the midpoints of the seat. So I click one, two and I've got mirrored these legs here. So in the floor plan it's finished. I click finish the edit mode and when I look at the 3D view you've got four legs but they are too short so I'm gonna look at the front view again and with this drag handle I can drag it and drag it up to the seat. Now we'll create the backrest but as you can see the backrest is slanted slightly it's not uh, vertical so We'll go to our plan view and we'll create a new reference plane, which will be here. And I will call it backrest. And it will be, let's say, 50 millimeters from the back of the seat. Okay. Now we'll create these two these two parts and we won't be using extrusion but we'll be using the blend tool so we'll start the blend tool and now we're editing the bottom of the blend so I'll again use the rectangle tool and I'll start here and I'll make it just 30 by 30 and again, I will mirror along axis and I'll mirror it to here. So this is the bottom. Now we will switch. We will edit the top. Oops. Yep. Uh, so we cannot create two of these. I will continue. I will delete this one. We will create just one and then, then, then copy the whole object. So. I'll delete this. Now I will go to edit top and I'll draw a rectangle again and I'm gonna have it be 30 by 30 and so this is the top. Now I'm gonna edit finish mode and when I look at the 3D view I see that it's created on the floor again so I'm gonna go to the left view Oh, it's zoomed out, so I'm gonna click escape and zoom to fit. Okay, so I'm looking at from I'm looking at the chair from the left, and now I'm gonna use the drag points again to drag it to the top of the backrest and drag it to the seat. Okay, so now it looks like this. And from the floor plan again. I will choose this whole object and mirror it by picking the axis. Okay, so now we've got these. When we look from left, they are slanted. Now we'll create this part of the backrest and it's shaped so that it will conform to your back. So we will use the sweep tool. So in the reference level, we will start in the floor plan again and we will start the sweep command. And first thing that we will do 
is the sketch path along the sweep. So we will use the sketch path and we will we will create the start and radius arc. So it will start here, it will end here, and again we can wing this dimension, it can be like this. Okay, I'll hit escape. This is our path. So we will finish creating path. And we are still in the sweep creation mode. And now we will edit the profile. When we look at the 3D view, it's on the floor again. This is the path. And this is where the profile will be created. And it's perpendicular to the, to the path. So we will look at the chair from the left. Here you will create, we will edit the profile. So we go to the edit profile thing and we will create a rectangle and let's make it, let's say 10 by 50. Okay that's the profile for us so we will finish creating profile we are in the modify sweep again and we will end creating the sweep we created the path and we created the profile so the sweep is finished when we look at it at the 3d view you can see that it's quite nice but it's in the wrong place again so we will go to the left view and we will move it up. So we will move, we will move it up here. And also we will rotate it so it's aligned with, uh, with uh, the backrest. And we won't use the rotate command, but we will use the align command. And we will align with this line and we will want to align this line. So now it's aligned. I hit escape. Now I move it back just let's say 10 millimeters. Yep. And now when we look at the 3D view, it looks properly, properly placed. It looks fine at the first side, but if we look at the floor plan and we zoom in, we can see that the end plates are not perpendicular to, to here. They are per perpendicular to the sweep line. So we have to solve this. The easy and kind of a dirty solution would be to edit the sweep and now we can uh, edit the path and we can make it just a tiny bit longer these points finish and finish now it's intersecting to the rest of the backrest so it would look okay here but I don't prefer this solution I don't like having two masses intersecting so we will have to do another thing and that is to cut out these parts of the of the backrest so to see it properly i will edit the sweep even more and i will edit the path and i will edit it like this so it's overhanging through it's going through and now in the reference in the floor plans so prop floor plan again we will create a void form void form which will take out this part of the backrest so we will create void extrusion and we'll choose rectangle this will be one part can choose this and then mirror along this axis here so we will cut on both sides and click OK now in the 3d view you can see 
that the void is cutting the wrong part of the chair which we don't want so we will pick the void and in the left view we will drag it up here and drag it up here now in the 3d view you can see that it's not cutting anything okay so we have to take tell Revit that we want to cut this part so we'll use this cut geometry tool and first we will choose the sweep then we will choose the void now the void cuts the sweep and it takes care of when we look at the reference uh, the floor plan you can see that now the cut here is perpendicular and also in the 3d view it's properly cut here so the chair is complete now we can save the family and we can load it into our project I will place it here in the middle of the project so this is our floor plan I will create a floor underneath the chair and let's take a look at it in the 3d view in our in our project you can see that it's here and we use the shaded view okay hope this helps and take care